Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is David and today we're going to be looking at the Instagram API. Uh, particularly in this video, we're going to look at how to get the access token and what scopes mean. So once you go to Instagram.com slash developer up here, um, you're going to be taken to this page and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to manage clients. And so now uh, just register a new client. Uh, this application name is just going to be called demo because it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I think you do need a legit website here, so that's just mine. Um, and this URI is going to be where you get your access token from. And I'm just going to set it to localhost. And contact email does not matter. Or it does matter, but for this sake, I'm just going to put in a fake email right there. So when you're doing it, put in a real one. So we're going to register, see if that works. Cool. And so, so far this is what we have. We have the client ID, client secret, and we're in sandbox mode. And sandbox mode is hugely different from when you're in the live mode because what sandbox mode means is you're only allowed 20 of your most recent pictures. And once we start seeing how to use scope and different endpoints, yeah, it might not make sense. It actually it doesn't. Uh, how why they limit you to twenty of your own, but that's just what they do. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable implicit OAuth, update the client, and now we're gonna go try to grab that um, token. And so we're gonna go to our localhost three thousand. Or actually no, we don't need to go to localhost. We need to go into authentication. And so this is the page on how to receive an access token. There's the server side, which means if you have a backend, and there's the client side if you don't have a backend. So that the, that's the long story short there. And so you're going to copy and paste this into your, uh, your URL here. Client ID, you're going to copy that from your client. So I'm going to grab that from here and paste that in there and for the redirect URI that's where you decided it was going to be redirected to and we chose localhost 3000 host 3000 and response type is token so they're going to give us back a token um, right here oh okay one thing we did forget to do was uh, ask for different scopes and so why don't we do that real quick we'll go back um, user denied your request, uh, doesn't matter. I'll do it again. Um, let's see, let's take a look at scopes. Login permissions, permissions review, I think it's this one. Okay, so a couple of things is when you, when you uh, just, when you don't add any scopes like this, uh, pretty much what happens is you're granted basic, which means you're able to read a user's profile info and media and by a user, they mean whoever authenticated it. And if you saw on that authentication screen, it was trying to authenticate me. Um, this was my Instagram account, and obviously I don't own any other ones. So I am, I'm only given access to that. So say you sent this over. So say you sent this um, sandbox app over to a friend, and you can do that by uh, doing this, inviting them. And then you'll have access to their most 20 recent pictures. But... If you have two users in there, pretty much you, you guys are going to have 40 most recent pictures and that's all you're going to be able to work with. Uh, why it's important is basic lets you do only so many things. It lets you read users' profile information and media, which means your photos and your information, like your, your email, um, your username, such as that. Public content um, grants other, this is, called the, this is called the scope, public content lets you read uh, tags, um, and it says other media users behalf, but really you're not able to because once again, you're only allowed your re most recent 20. And so these other scopes pretty much follow. Uh, if you have, if you're interested in all that, go ahead and, uh, I guess read the rest of this page, but pretty much it's pretty self, -exp self explanatory follow list. Um, you get to read such things. You get to post and delete comments. And so, and when you go to this endpoints tab here, you'll see what exactly needs what scope. Say, I'm going to do something with users, 
Um, these are all going to be get requests and they're going to need uh, no scope. So this one needs a public content scope. This one needs just a basic scope. This one needs a public content scope. And so, and like say you want to mess around with likes, the this one's going to just need public content. This one's going to need access to likes and public content. And so we will go ahead and make this request again. Uh, let's try to go back and see how this was just basic. We don't want that. We want to add in uh, likes and public content uh, just for the sake of our our demonstration. We're going to do scope equals and I think that was how it was. Yep, scope equals likes plus public content. Cool, and so now uh, Instagram is notifying you, okay, this application is trying to ask for permission to post deletes like on your behalf, uh, media and profile information about public users uh, on your behalf, and, uh, and so yeah, when someone starts using your app, they sign in, they're going to see this, and they're going to they're going to get to choose, okay, pretty much whether they want to use your app or not because you'll have the power to do these things on their behalf. And demo is just the, the client that I, w I, called, I called it. So we authorize this, and boom. We now have this token here. And so you this page looks kind of broken, but it's not. If you look up here, localhost 3000 access token equals this. And that is your access token. You can use it anywhere. We're going to... We're gonna in the next video we're gonna look at it using Postman uh, and just to let you guys know this these digits right here right before the period that is your user's ID number and so that was how to get an access token with permissions and scope.